Hey, what's up guys? I'm back with a brand new video and today I am doing part 2 of the tutorial I just did uh, yesterday. Um, it did insanely awesome, like 100 views in like 2 hours and over 20 likes. It was insane that it's never happened to me, I don't think. Um, it was super cool and I got loads of, I mean, positive feedback on that video. So I was deciding to... Um, uh, do a part two to it. So if you haven't watched part one and you're uh, working on making your own server, I suggest you watch part one because there I go over what you have to do to make your own server. I have a full complete tutorial. It's a little bit long, I know, so I'm gonna try to keep this one a little bit shorter and not talk too much. But um, that's basically it. Uh, if you haven't watched it, uh, I'll leave a link down in the description. I, there's also an annotation uh, right up in this corner I think uh, I'll put that there as well so you can go click there and um, watch the video if you haven't watched it already uh, but now I'm basically gonna go over how to add an image to your Minecraft server like uh, for example um, uh, this all these Minecraft servers here Hypixel, Mineplex, Hive, uh, Performing Factions, Fave Cloud, Nirvana all of these servers they have different um, uh, different images for the servers, right? So, um, and this is my server, it's not on yet. Uh, if I actually refresh, they will load, but my server won't because uh, I haven't, um, I haven't actually uh, started it. So, um, but I don't have any, I have an image to it, so it looks like this, and it looks very boring and unprofessional. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create uh, a picture like this uh, for um, the Minecraft server. So. For this, you'll probably need a an editing an editing program uh, like GIMP for maybe um, Paint.net or Paint, just somewhere, um, just a program where you can make your own images or edit images, whatever. I'm using Photoshop. You can use that if you have it. It's very, very, very good. It's very cool. Um, Photoshop, if you have it, then use it because it's very, very, very useful and it's very easy to do. Uh, to do this, so um, what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to uh, start a new project and I'm going to call it, I don't, I don't even care, that doesn't really matter. So uh, for the resolution you have to set it to 64 by 64 pixels um, and the resolution you can keep at whatever, doesn't really matter, I'm keeping it at 72. Um, RGB colors and see through a background thingy um, so it's like this transparent background um, and yeah that's basically uh, the start of this so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm just gonna be adding um, some text so if I find uh, the font I want to use uh, here it is <clears throat> and just uh, write some like random letters or whatever I, I, I mean you can type in whatever you want I'm gonna go with oh wow okay I'm gonna go with um, that maybe okay I'm just gonna make an M um, because it's kind of easy to to do I think yeah okay so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna add um, I'm gonna add some stroke uh, to the outline set it to outline and set it down to like one and or maybe maybe two two is good and then set this to 75 and the color is gonna be uh, black you, you can do whatever you want, I'm just doing this, so if you want to follow along, that's fine. Um, I'm not going to do anything else, really, okay? Um, and then we're going to do Control a to select everything. Uh, go to Layer. Um, go here and click on this to... I'm, I'm basically just centering the whole thing. Uh, you can just Control t and then just drag it uh, until you've got the cross. The pink cross 
and that's basically where the middle is. Um, so once you've got that done, you can uh, right click on this and uh, duplicate, click on OK, and then drag it under so it's the copy of it is under below. Um, take off the stroke, go to, um, you're basically just going to add the color black, um, so it's, it's going to be black and not white. Um, I just accidentally made that. Um, now that it's all black, you can see here, we drag it down, that it's going to be black, but we don't want it to be like all black, so we're going to turn down the, um, the thickness of it. Um, and that might be weird. Maybe 75 is good here as well. I think so, yeah. Uh, and then basically just um, place it wherever you wherever you like. Um, so uh, center it obviously. So that's nice. Um, always nice to have it centered. And it depends on how much drop shadow you want. But I'm doing this. You can also uh, go over to this one and just add drop shadow. Um, for yourself, but uh, this one's working very nice. Uh, it's working very nice to do like this. So uh, have the uh, top layer selected, which is the um, white text, and then um, uh, I'm not sure if you can do this in other programs, but if you can't, then ooh, yeah, it, it might still be working though. So just select the the text, not the shadow around. Uh, the stroke around, I mean, um, not the shadow either, uh, just the white part, and uh, select the color you want. I'm thinking, thinking maybe yellow. I don't know, ye yellow seems good. So then uh, select your brush, and then uh, you have to make it okay. So for this, I'm basically just gonna do this, and that's way too yellow. So I'm gonna wrong one. Um, I'm gonna set it down so it's a little more orangey. Um, okay. Um, I think that's pretty good. And then for the second color, we'll go with orange, I guess. And then uh, set the brush size down a lot. Um, Okay, wait, it has to be way smaller than that. Oh, and I'm... Uh, I'm not even like... Okay, there we go. Okay, that I need to set the brush size down to like... 2 or something. So I can like actually uh, do this. And then... I'm, I'm sorry if I'm a little bit quiet now. Um, I'm not, I'm not the best at this either. I'm not like super pro at this. Like I know uh, some stuff, and I'm not terrible. I'd say. Um, I'd say I'm not terrible, uh, but I'm not. I'm definitely not like a super pro at this. So um, basically, it's just shading, basically, and mixing colors, and trying to make it look good and not uh, making it bad like me so I uh, do that and then add a lot down here uh, the same as here uh, add quite a lot um, so it's very orange there and I think that's pretty good to be honest I can try and add some some there. Uh, okay, that doesn't look good at all. So scratch that. Um, okay, that's pretty good. So then go back to the yellow color, uh, select it, and then uh, make it a little bit brighter. Turn down uh, this to something like three or something. 
maybe you should turn it out to like two. So it's it's quite big. It's quite a big brush. And then this is basically just making it um, more textured and it looks like it's more textured. Uh, now it's going kind of out of lines, but we can fix that. We can draw over that later. Uh, and I mean, it's not turning out terrible. So if we deselect that and then look at it, we can clearly see that some of the corners like here and here and everything it's it's kind of not good but it, it's kind of working at, at the same time so if you like zoom out it, it looks pretty good to be honest like I, I wasn't expecting it to be this good um, and this is bad actually so that um, but you can basically do whatever you get what I mean you can do whatever you can add a background as well we're gonna do that we're gonna add a background so um, okay let's just um, add a background so let's say we add uh, a red background um, let's go with some uh, dark ish red and then let's add a dark red and do this I, I do realize I'm super good at this, I know, uh, so uh, you don't have to tell me in the comments that I am super good at this, um, but I'm I'm kind of just going over very, very quick now uh, some ideas on what you can do, like this, um, this is going to be my image, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this. Um, and it's kind of important, you don't have to save it as this just yet, but just save it as a PNG file, because if you don't, it's not going to work. And then save it as... Um, I'm, I think it's server-icon, and then PNG. Um, I'm going to have to look at that. Um... Yep, okay, so it's servericon.png. So as you can see here, it's called servericon.png. Um, and what you basically do to add this to your server is take the image you just created. Uh, remember, it has to be 64 by 64 pixels. If not, it won't work. Drag it into the folder. And there it is. So just, uh, there it is start up the server and I'll be right back once it started okay so um, now the server is uh, done um, starting up it started and I have uh, put the icon in the folder so now once we I'm just gonna open up full screen so you can see better no you can't even see it because my face kind of is blocking okay wait um sorry i have to uh, move my face cam over there because if not it's gonna just block the view so uh movie magic everyone mm, i'm gonna go here and boom you've got your own um your own image for your server so um that is basically it if you like this video, then remember to um, press like. And if you want more tutorials, then hit subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. This has been A Real Alien, and I'm out. Peace. <laughs>